everyone. Here's the last item in that large box right there. And it's fairly obvious what it is right away. This is an indoor HD antenna. Since my dad canceled our cable, I'm going to need an alternative to watch Seahawks games and all of that. So I decided to get this. This is the 1x1 one one amplified indoor HD TV antenna that, with the amplifier, can reach out to a 50 mile radius and collect channels that way. Alright, when we open up the box, I first pull out the, the amplifier. And afterwards, of course, we pull out the unusually massive antenna. I did not expect it to be this huge. And at the very least, it comes with three sets, I think three sets, of 3M tape. So that if I wanted to attach it to the wall directly, I could do it that way. I guess we pull out this... Uh, cardboard box too and out comes an adapter the brick after that looks like we have a couple more items in here all right this is the USB cable that connects directly to the amplifier and not the antenna which I was not quite expecting and I think these are the last items they should be the last items let's throw this all away this is a service card and this looks to be the user manual probably yep I got all the contents so I'm good Here's the rest of the stuff that I unboxed earlier, including my new Tascam DR40 and the accessories. So let's go ahead and get all of this out of the packaging. Okay, everyone. Here's the full contents of the antenna. As you can see, here's the brick adapter for the USB cable, which goes to the amplifier right in there. And then the antenna with the 10-foot coaxial cable goes in the top. And this end goes into the TV. So for test purposes later on, I'm going to be testing it on that little CRT over there. Just because. So it will be displayed in 480i. However, I will be testing it on a 1080p TV downstairs too. Will, will I film them? I'm not quite sure. But let's go ahead and move on to the last package which has the last item. Right about now. Alright everyone. This is where the stuff gets fun. I'm going to attempt to open this box with a screwdriver that I just found in my closet. So let's go ahead and try this out. See if the box doesn't drag a lot. And that's it. This is the UTV AT163 converter box, which will act as a DVR for the antenna. Here's a look at the back real quickly. Alright, in the box so far we have this HDMI cable. We have a set of composite AV cables so I can test this on my CRT looks like we have the remote which is fairly large and of course we have the set top box itself also inside is the limited warranty, state warranty statement and the user's manual that's it for that box that's it for unboxing all the other items. So I guess while the camera's on the floor right now, I'll just open up the set top box and remote, because why not? 
It's actually pretty small in real life, too. The box was surprisingly heavy, though. Not sure why that is. Alright, let's see if I can successfully strip off the plastic without leaving any behind. Okay, here's what we have in terms of I.O. We have the antenna in and, well, we have the coax in, coax out. Uh, this is the digital coaxial out, HDMI out. Uh, composite out along with left and right audio component out with the left and right audio and that's it on the front though we do have a USB port for recording items now for the remote real quickly then again I haven't checked if this is in focus so I'm sorry if it's out of focus the remote is quick and easy Here's what it looks like. And it feels really nice to the touch too. Too bad I won't be using it because I have my any mote. Alright, now that everything's unboxed, let's go ahead and test some of these things out. Wanna see something cool? That's what the box looks like when it boots up for the first time. It shows the letters boot and it goes into the four lines. So now let's go ahead and connect this to the TV and see what we're looking at without the antenna. Here's what it looks like so far. See what happens when I try to aim the remote. I don't even know if this remote has batteries in it. The remote does not have batteries so I need to go get some. Batteries are in the remote and we're ready to roll. So yeah, that's all we can do without uh, the antenna so far. So let's go ahead and put the antenna up. And so I just got finished putting in the amplifier, wiring the USB up to the front for now. And the antennas right here so I'm gonna see what happens when I stick it like up here for now just because so let's find the remote and go ahead and do a channel search right about now So that's it. And it even shows what's on in the future. So right now it says it's trying to output 720p, but it's being downscaled to 480i. And the 16x9 is being compressed to 4x3. So let me see what happens when I go into the menu. There's quite a bit to choose in the menu right now. Let's take the resolution down to, uh, no, not 1080p. Now there's 480p, let's do 480i. There we go. Aspect ratio sh should be, I think it should be 4x3 letterbox. Could also be... 4x3 pan and scan, which looks better. Alright. So 
Now here's all of this stuff. Let's see, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing exactly. I'm just changing settings that I think will fit the most. Daylight time off. Time offset. I'm. Yeah, let's do auto for time offset. Let's see. All of that I think is good. Digital audio should be off. Because I'm not quite using that yet. It's all analog right now. USB. Huh. So I can do photo, PVR, and multimedia. Alright, let's see what happens when I try going up some channels now. King HD is tripping out. There we go. King SD is doing a little bit better. It's not as good, but there's a lot of improvement to do.